Today our Bearcat is being flown by Carter Teeters and Mr. John Sessions is in the Spitfire once again. Greg Anders in the P-51. And I want to talk a little bit to the ladies out there because that B-25 up there is being flown by Vera Martinovic. So I just wanted to let everybody know that this isn't just a man's game out there. Any women out there that are interested in flying some of these warbirds, it's definitely a possibility. And Vera happens to be doing that. A little about uh, Carter Teeters. He's an instructor with Alaska Airlines on the Boeing 737, has over 6,000 hours, lives in Browns Point, Washington, and is a uh, Vietnam vet. He was in the Army from 1968 to 1969 and uh, is quite the pilot. He flies all sorts of different things, like uh, three different Grumman cats, the Wildcat, the Hellcat, and the Bearcat. Not too many people get to say that. Yeah, Carter stays busy flying our Bearcat all around, and the Bearcat is the last in a long line of the cats that were produced by Grumman. Another thing that will be noted by a lot of air race fans out there is the Bearcat is a phenomenal air race aircraft. It's The Rare Bear is one of the winningest aircraft uh, racers of all time. That's right, Rare Bear came this close to <laughs> winning the unlimited gold race last year. I tell you, a lot of disappointed people when, when he pulled up because the engine started overheating. All right, looks like we got the aircraft coming in from the right this time. I want to note that the Bearcat held the record for the time to climb to 10,000 feet in 94 seconds. And it held that record for over 10 years, well into the jet age. And of course, we got Grumpy uh, running around out there as well. Grumpy is a D model uh, B 25, manufactured back in 1943, one of approximately 10,000 B 25s. All right, from the right, here comes the Bearcat. Okay, as these aircraft get set up to land, I also want to invite everybody that hasn't had the opportunity yet. Grumpy, the B-25, will be on static display for the remainder of the afternoon. So anybody that wants an opportunity to go crawl around through that aircraft and experience some of that, it will be available. While you're over there, you can also get information about how you can get a ride on that aircraft. We have a few options. One of them we have going on right now is a raffle, as well as membership rides in different aircraft that we have here with us this weekend. Uh, this afternoon in, in the B-25 or the DC-3. Well, the option here today is to come over to our tent, which will be over by, as soon as the B-25 gets parked over there, you'll everybody will be able to see it. You can come over there and inquire about the rides. And if today is not a good opportunity, you can always go to historicflight.org and get more information about our entire collection and other ride opportunities. All these uh, beautiful airplanes that we have here, and of course, the Historic Flight Foundation. Thank you, Roy. It's been a pleasure being here.